But the bottom line is that nuclear and its stocks are having a big, big moment. Let's talk about how long that may last with Mark Nelson. He's the founder and managing director of Radiant Energy Group. He was on the nuclear story, Mark, before it was even cool again. So we're glad that you're back on the program. Listen, um, you're not a markets guy. We do the market stuff. Nuclear is having a moment. A lot of these stocks are soaring. What is the real state of nuclear in America right now? Well, from the public, we have a lot of love. From investors, we have a lot of love. That's what you just mentioned. Utilities now realize they want more nuclear and customers of those utilities, big tech, they just suddenly realized they want a bunch of nuclear. The Democrats now realize, like in New York, they want nuclear. So they've stopped ripping it down and they want to start building it. Republicans, they still want nuclear. So the question is, where is our nuclear fleet? China is building 10 gigawatts a year coming up. New York wants one in 10 years. If you're doing the math, that's a 100 times gap between New York and China. Now, there's a big country out here. It's not just New York, but we don't yet have an answer to China. So to answer your question, where's the next nuclear coming from? It's from whoever puts together the magic team. What's the magic team? You gotta have nuclear technology that you know works. You gotta have a team of people experienced at building who wanna build big and wanna build fast. You need finance industry ready to pour billions into it. It's a great deal long-term if you can find an investable power plant project. You may need utilities that have those precious nuclear plant sites where the locals already want a massive expansion of nuclear. And then finally, you've got to have somebody bring it all together. That's the super team we're waiting for here in the West and here in America. And I think, I, I think to, to, to continue with your team's analogy, we'll stick with sports. I think the general managers, i.e. the power companies, have decided it's better to go out and trade for an existing player, i.e. restart Three Mile Island. Restart that one, what is it, Dwayne Howard or whatever it's called in Iowa. Buy power from the Talon Energy Group if you're Amazon in Ohio. Restart Palisades in Michigan. Then to build or draft a new player because, as we learned in Georgia, the Vodal Energy plant took forever and was like 3x over budget. You couldn't be more correct. At the moment, the demand is such that anybody that's got a spare nuclear plant to finish or restart is getting a lot of play, a lot of inquiries, and those deals are coming together. But what we don't have is the next fleet. In my opinion, whoever puts together the most compelling team, the quickest, likely by the end of this calendar year, is going to be out in front announcing more builds. There's support in Congress. There's an understanding that we've got to back our team or we're going to be just cooked on the AI race. I think it's going to come, but it's a lot of hard work between now and then, Brian. Mark, why can't we just restart uh, Indian Point, the New York plant that was shut down, or to Hogel's point, is it just that these new tax incentives are so attractive that it's more economical to build a new one than to restart an old one? Look, there's a lot of places where you can restart nuclear plants pretty easily. Germany is one, but they're very slow and careful about how they dismantle. I heard stories out of Indian Point where people were ripping things apart inside that reactor immediately. They get, got rid of almost all the workers immediately. The intent apparently was to do such serious damage that by the time New York realized that they were so out of luck, it would be too hard to reverse. That's insane. I mean, there's some talk is about that, maybe. Is that, I mean, what was the point? Why, why be that destructive? Well, they knew there'd be a massive power jump in cost. Like, those nuclear plants were the best located power plants, arguably, in America for providing cheap power to an urban area that needed it. But that was turned around as a negative, saying it's too close to New York City. Everybody knew, who knew markets for power at least, knew there'd be a huge cost jump the second you shut those down. So it meant that there'd be a huge political price to pay if somebody could try to pin that on Governor Cuomo and get that plant restarted. It's my opinion, I don't have a conspiracy theory I have uncovered, that the intent was to damage the plant so fast that it couldn't come back like Dwayne Arnold in Iowa or Three Mile Island in Pennsylvania. Hmm.